Hi Joss, uh, so here's just a couple of uh, pointers uh, from the lesson today to go over. Um, so if we are clear, the one on the left hand side is the swing, uh, your original swing that we were, that we were, go that you, you put on it. Um, and this was the shot where we were trying to play the sort of high lob shot. Um, the issues were sort of leading edge digging into the ground so you were getting fat shots um, and then you're also getting the ones where the, the leading edge is catching the ball halfway up causing the ball to, to shoot across the green at um, a fast speed shall we say um, so uh, I'll keep this really short and really simple because you you uh, you really did get it within uh, sort of the ten, first 10 minutes of the lesson you know, so we moved on so first swing on the left hand side here um, there's no real wrist movement here um, swings very very long for the sort of you know uh, 30 yard high flop we were trying to play um, you said you you started off doing uh, in terms of setup you, you had an open stance um, we changed that on the on the right hand one you can see that's probably the, one of the first things that you can see in terms of setup so the, uh, the swing on the right hand side, everything's a little bit more parallel to your target line. Uh, from a consistency point of view, I think this definitely helped you. So that's the first thing that we change you know, from a static perspective. Uh, you set up the um, body is more now parallel to the target line as opposed to being open to the, to the target. So swing was very long, um, so we shortened it. So you can see now it's much shorter. Um, we could still do with a little bit more uh, wrist angle in here, but you know, the main one that you got coming through was you're now uh, you're now able to put loft on the ball through releasing that left wrist or creating extension in that left wrist, uh, which allows you to to hold the loft off the. Um, or put loft on if you like uh, to get the ball to go up in the air. If you look at the one on the left hand side, as you come down here, you get quite a lot of shaft lean. The hands kind of go way out in front of you. <coughs> it's really a case of just holding on to that club. You know, at no point was the head ever sort of accelerating. The only acceleration you can generate there is by speeding up the hands. Uh, you can see the one on the right hand side because you release that angle here you start to get a lot more speed and you know obviously by you know this is not the finished product but straight away you can see from this position as opposed to this position if you're the guy trying to play a high lob uh, the one on the right you're going to get a lot more success um, I'll try and send you the trackman stuff through as well but I think you know you were using your 58 degree wedge here I think the dynamic loft was coming out on this at something outrageous like sort of 40 um, whereas this one you've got it down to sort of much more uh, much more respectable I think it came down to I think about or went up if you like to about 50 54 55 something like that which is fine you know um, obviously that's going to then change launch angle which is really what we're trying to change with, with such a such a short shot okay but I think I think you grasp most of it but I think just by sending through a couple of uh, pictures here yeah, much much better you know. and because the speeds generated through you know wrist angles uh, hinging and unhinging if you like swing hands can actually be shorter in terms of length so you sort of can keep your hands below here or below waist height if you like you know the more the more the hands travel up you know the longer the hands travel in the swing the more they can go wrong generally speaking okay so hopefully that makes sense um, any questions at all just uh, just let me know and I'll uh, I'll see you next week